Welcome to the bold analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Serious suspicion has emerged after the Machakos event. And this is because of the absence of Wavinyandeti, who in the recent past has been attending William Ruto's events in Machakos County. But that suspicion seems to be linked to a statement that William Ruto made while speaking in Machakos. Why did Wavinyandeti skip the meeting? In the same meeting, William Ruto, or rather government, is accusing Azimio pro Azimio governors of funding the protest. On the other end, they were blaming Uhuru Kenyatta. Who is going to be blamed next? But let me start there. When someone raised, um, tipped me about um, our Venyandeti's absence, I rushed in her Facebook page. And uh, this is what was posted in Wavinia Ndeti's Facebook page. That is 13 hours ago. That was the very Thursday in the morning. She even shared a poster welcoming William Ruto to Machakos. That poster had her photo and that of the president saying, On behalf of my government and the people of Machakos County, I welcome his Excellency Dr. William Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, to Konza City, Techno City. We are delighted that today's award of charter to the Open University of Kenya by the Head of State will trigger a momentous value within the city and across Kenya and beyond. Now, William Ruto was to go and open, uh, open uh, to give charter to the Open University of Kenya. I'll give a bit of... Uh, talk a bit about this uh, uh, this open university because I have seen people really talking about it then she was conspicuously missing from that event but I really made some very good observations now um, in the evening that was around five she shared a photo of her attending another event now this is um, I think that one had children Yes, this is the photo she shared of a project that she went to launch, which was um, a collaboration with UN Habitat, an NGO constructing some 60 homes for low-income and vulnerable families in Kiasa, Kyumbi area, and in Matungulu sub county. So, William Bruto was attending, <coughs> giving the charter to the, the Open University, but the governor skipped only then to go and attend some other event which was that of NGO. So, um, before you go to the photos of the event, the person, um, I want to speak about this open university. I have seen pro-government team running with a very strong narrative that Ruto promised the open university and has delivered in the record nine months. Now, if you look at the building, was that building constructed in nine months? No. So it was not constructed in nine months, and it's not true that that is a delivery of Kenya Kwanzaa. It started way back during Uhuru Kenyatta's administration, and that is just one of the projects that William Ruto decided to go and launch, even though he's been uh, trying to snob or rather to skip events that are giving Uhuru Kenyatta prominence, like you know, the Uhuru Park has never been launched. And um, probably it supports the understanding that it was to be redone, you know, some budget to be done so that it is given some other facelift. And so, one thing we can independently uh, verify is that Wavinia Ndeti never uh, attended, but she sent her deputy, Mwangangi, who was in that meeting. And her position was taken by uh, Makweni Governor. Um, um, Makweni Governor Mutole Kinonzo Jr. There are only three probabilities that I am seeing. Kindly subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like our video. Wavinia Ndeti could have realized what this statement that Ruto made there. Tukiwapatia pesa ya county, 
Musiende kuchukua na kupanga maandamano ya vita. Please. That is not right. That is not why counties were made. Siyo kama tunaelewana my friends. Munataka hati chukue ushuru ya Kenya taxpayers money. Tuende tununue mawe. Ya kupiganisha wa Kenya. Hapana, hapana. This statement was meant by president accusing as the pro azimio governors of funding protests. Machakos is azimio. And in Machakos, I understand there were protests in Mlolongo. And Mlolongo sits in Machakos and Emali also borders Machakos. So Emali there was also some really massive protest. So what could have happened is that through her intern, she realized that government was blaming the governors like even her because in her county, that is Mlolongo is also where there was also some really massive protest that government was blaming, shifting some blames to the governors for some funding Mazama Mandamano. Now that Ruth has been attending many functions, she was even in State House, she was in Mombasa, not she, he was in State House, he was in Mombasa, and in all these other areas. But he never mentioned about, even Mombasa has Abdul Swamad, who is an ODM governor. Kilivi has uh, Mungaro, who is an ODM governor. But he's never mentioned the, the claim of Azimio governors supporting the protest. But the fact that he made that statement in Machakos is revealing that probably the governor had a nod that she was being profiled negatively for funding the protest. Second observation I also made is um, Wavinja Ndeti maybe had not realized, but last minute he realized the presence of Mutola Kilonzo Jr. And I see a situation of a bad blood between Mutula Kilonzo Jr. and Wavinya Ndeti. And this one is in respect to a question that for those who have been following the discussion about Kansas City will know that there have been a very big contestation on where is Kansas City. Does Kansas City sit in Machakos or does it sit in Makweni? Or does it sit in, I don't know, Kajado? Now, this question has been here for quite so long. And when Mutola Kilonzo was speaking in that event, it conspicuously showed its face. With him saying, Usidanganyue, this place sits in. I want you to get that because probably there have been a lot of questions on who, which part. Is it Machakos? Is it Makweni? And maybe the governor realized that because the Makoni part, the, the, the contingent uh, counterpart was coming, the discussion would emerge there and there would be an altercation. Listen to Mutula Kilonzo Jr. Making sure that the title deed for this region, uh, for these 5,000 acres, is securely in the hands of Konza, thanks to Engineer Tanui. Your Excellency, this development here is significant, and let me tell you why. This was Malili Cooperative Society land, this one. It was just given name Konza to beautify it. But otherwise, we are standing in Malili sublocation. Wow, in was a good Now, our forefathers, including my own grandfather, invested in buying this land. So that's what I'm talking about. You see, the context of what Mutula Kenza is saying, our elders, our ancestors, it was Malili and so, that is a very different school of thought from what the other side of Machakos also believes. So, and, and of course, I agree that it's not, the two, it's not a project of the two counties. Uh, you know, it's a project of the country, even though it's one of the dead projects to say the truth. Eh? You know, Recently, those who rushed to Kwanzaa City to buy land because they were expecting there was going to be boom were forced to sell their pieces of land at a throwaway price because even 10 years after the project was hatched, it yet to see its realization. You know, it's yet to be actualized. And so those who rushed and bought land there realized that there is no much going on. And they were even forced, recently, there was that story that was carried by the mainstream, that they were forced to sell their those pieces of land at a throwaway price. Lastly, 
what would be the image of um, I, I want to see that probably Stephen Kalonzo Musioka instructed the tried to instruct wiper leaders to a little bit stay away from William Ruto for a while for the time these mediation talks are going on. And I listened to Mutula Kilonzo Jr.'s speech and he alluded to the fact that I'm going to talk, and he was telling President Ruto, that I'm going to talk to Ruto without apology, so long as it's for the development of the people. You know, some have always, some governors who are pro-Kenya Kwanzaa have always tried to project a picture as if, if you're not talking to the president, you're not bringing development to your people. I normally say a very good example. One gentleman, uh, Oparanya. Oparanya delivered for Kakamega and was in opposition for the 10 years that he was a governor. Except probably uh, during the handshake, there was a different arrangement. But Oparanya worked while he's on the other side. So I tend also to believe that Wavinya Ndeti could have also got some question or also, was also asked by Kalonzo Msioka under the wiper umbrella for them to stay away because it would actually downplay. You know, Kenya Kwanza runs propaganda. It's, it's their daily. It's, it's their daily. It's in their diary. Starting from President himself to the bloggers. So what has, Mio, what has been going on is government has been trying to downplay. They've always tried to downplay uh, the talks. And what would have been the question if, you know, um, Kalonzo is talking, is in the mediation talks about solving a crisis for the other end, all his leaders, his governors and MPs are now embracing William Ruto at the other end. I'm not saying that no one should embrace William Ruto. But then it will not be a very friendly photo at this critical time. So there is a high probability that Kalonzo Musioka could have asked Wabinya Ndeti to keep off. And this borders this. During such events, leaders are normally given, there is no only presidential brief on what is to be given. Probably the governor was given a brief on what the want had to touch and she decided then to avoid by not attending. But this is my take. Uh, her not attending is not lightly because, let me tell you, she's been attending and truth be told, she's been William Ruto's cheerleader from Kabani. One of the newest cheerleaders. She's on record writing, you know, bashing Azimio, bashing Raila, so and so. But then if this one she fails to attend in such a big project, like giving a charter to a university which probably is in her county, yeah, it, it has to be understood differently. That's my take, guys. And this is not to mean that the other NGO event is unnecessary, rather is, is an important. Between the President of the Republic of Kenya and some board of an NGO doing a project in your county, who do you give priority? It will actually, the protocols will be the President first. And so that's why I opine on my reasons behind this.